That's the one we were just doing. See where it stopped at. Oh, you know what? I might not be able to. I might not be able to because uh, it's got to be a process. No, I know we. I know we was at. Um, we was. Uh, you had said uh, the one hundred and forty-first specimen, Birdman, and Dusty. Yeah, I just think I just tell everybody that we have a little All right, everybody, we had a little technical difficulties, but uh, we're going to uh, go and finish this story up. Uh, again, um, I think we left off on, uh, I was telling you about the uh, 144 specimens of, of uh, semen, urine, yeah. fecal matter yeah. were found on the various victim feet, legs, genital area, but especially the mouth, ears, and eyes, detailed forensic investigator Diane Tell in her report. Man, that's this, crazy. They said the mouth, the ears, and the eyes. And the eyes. Yeah. So the the mouth, okay, he he was, you know. Man, don't get this motherfucking nose. Don't get y'all for this. The, the eyes, you know, was right in front with the mouth. But how the fuck you get it on the ears, man? I mean, he was, was he sticking their whole head in his ass? Either that, man, they said semen, urine, fecal matter, man, it, 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 either that or he was trying to hit every hole in the body. Like, like I, I'm not I'm not surprised at what this sick puppy was doing, man. I, I, I'm really not. I wouldn't be surprised at nothing this guy was doing, man. You know, uh, check this out. It also seems that Mr. Lopez had a weakness for ejaculating in the victim's hair. As 90% of the semen was found in the area corroborates the report. I mean, come on, man. This dude was like, he was just having a, a mighty good time with these women, yeah, man. Was, and, and yeah, it was it sick. Was, it was sick, man. Part, but, man. He, oh, my God. I can't, I, you know, this guy here, this guy here should be put in the, uh, in the realm of a murderer, man, that needs to go ahead on and, 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 and get on the, uh, get, get put on death row, man. Because this, this is the sickest shit I ever heard a human being do to another human being. Dude, I was... I was laughing and shit when it was when I knew you know I, I'm just thinking okay he a nasty motherfucker and I know that he a nasty motherfucker. but but now to find out that this dude is doing children man not only was he doing children and women folks but yeah I'm gonna take this shit to a third phase with this guy. <laughs> Oh, it ain't funny, oh, people, man. but I'm just telling you how sick this guy is. Oh, come on, Tra man. Traces of fecal matter were also found on 13 of 17 men oh. in a chromatic state as well. And Albuquerque so police spoke also confirmed. He pillow biting, farting in their faces. This dude, come on, man. So this dude, not only did he say, well, damn, if I can get away with the older women, and then I can get away with the kids, well, shit, let me see what the, let me see what the brother's like. Let me, oh. let me, let me see what the homie's like. Let me oh, see, no. let me see what, what I can do, like, what I can uh, donate to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy is sick, man. Yeah, like, it's got to be another word for sick that this guy is, man. Yeah, he's sick. Oh my yeah. God, man. You know what? I'm once again, though, once again, though, Devo, I have to turn back. I have to turn back. To the staff yeah, yeah. of the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there is absolutely, as a nurse, yeah. that I should not be thinking yeah. this janitor that went into this room. Okay, you go into the room, it's probably nothing. You go into the room, he probably cleaning up. But now, it's been some time that's passed. Why aren't you going in there checking on these people? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, Doc, you was good at math, right? 
fairly. Okay, well, you know, addition. So I want a long you, time ago. I want you to add a 37 plus 17. And what, did, what, 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 do, what, what do we, what's the, what's the? 54. 54. Okay, so between 37 women, including young, young, young girls, and 17 men, this dude violated 54 people without any nurses no. or any hospital administration Come on. knowing Come on. that this sick bastard was doing anything. Come on, man. 54 people. Come on. And not one nurse, not one. Tried to figure out or kept caught this dude right while he was in motion. Not one. That's, you know, that's the, which and that that goes back to my statement when I said the nurses need to get up off their lazy ass. Yes, and I think they will after this because this is gonna make this. No, they ass need to be fired yeah. too, though. This is gonna make this medical center look real bad. No, they need to be shut down. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, they, they should. They should. Listen, they I'm, really I'm, should. I'm gonna throw this out there. If you are the parents. Or guardians, or uh, uh, P.O.A. If you, if you get yeah. P.O.A. Yeah. Uh, of of the people that was brutally assaulted by this slovingly sloppy ass person, yeah. Then make, make sure y'all see you this medical shut center. that damn medical shut center down. down. Shut it down. Because if they, because I know this dude was coming through smiling, speaking to everybody like everything was okay, and going right in the rooms and doing his dirt. But you know what? Before we finish, though, I'm gonna go ahead and put this bastard, get this bastard, his uh, straight jacket and his fucking. Oh, um, definitely. Oh, definitely. Ah! Nigga, get your ass in there, nigga. We gonna throw away the key on this bastard. You sick bastard. We throwing away the key on this dude because uh, this is the most sickest individual that I have ever, ever in my life heard of. Ever in my 51 years, and I've heard some things. Yeah, I'm from I, Chicago, and I've lived in California. I've lived in Texas, and I've never, ever heard anything as sick as this before in my dude, life. Dude, dude was, dude was terrible. Dude's terrible. But he's absolutely terrible. So, and, and on that, I'm done talking about this sick bastard. I, 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 I do want to, I do want to go back and say, uh, I had made a statement about, uh, you know, the president and the wall or whatever. And I don't believe that all Mexicans are like this person. But no. I'm going to tell you this. And this go for any race. I don't give yep. a damn what race you are. Right. If you know of a motherfucker doing this shit. Yeah. And you ain't saying nothing. Right. You are just as guilty. Right. And you got to put that on his wife too. Because she didn't tell authorities. Remember people. Because he promised to get engaged to her. Just That's the only reason. She a nasty bitch. She probably like to get farted in the face too. With all them damn shit particles flying out of her head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nasty. Sick ass. Sick man, sick. Man, I'm done with this damn story. <laughs> hey, I want y'all to don't forget to subscribe and like and please. Please put your comments about this story yeah. and, and down below uh, on, our, on our YouTube page. And again, we will we will put the guy's face out over on in our Patreon page. And uh, and uh, I mean, y'all could just have at him. Hey, I tell you what, what we will do if you guys continue to uh, subscribe and you continue to uh, uh, put your comments and stuff, we're gonna dedicate a show to the comments and we'll do an update. On all of the uh, stories that we're doing, and we'll read the comments. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Cause I, I know this guy, this guy got to get it. He got to get, he got to get the book thrown at him, man. He have to. Yeah, yeah. I'm like you. His his crime is up there with homicide. Yeah, it should be treated as such. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it just. It's, it's made it's made no sense. So. All right, YouTube. Yeah, one love. Yeah, yeah. Saying that. Hey, thanks again, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave your comments. We appreciate you, and I uh, hope you be around for the next show. Thank you.